Okay, let's take a look at adding some snow, or should I say falling snow, to our snow scene here. First thing we're going to do though, is if we just take a look at the picture itself, you can see it's just a bit bright around the sky area, and we're just going to drop the temperature as well. Now starting off with the sky, we're going to put in a new empty layer, by default it's called layer 1. If we double click, we can rename this, we call this sky, just pressing enter or return to apply it. Right, the next thing is coming across the toolbox. Make sure you've got the default colours of black and white. Any other colours? Just press the letter D on your keyboard. That will restore the default colours. We're going to pick up the gradient tool. We're going to come up to our menu bar here, just making sure we've got the first one, the linear gradient selected. Clicking in the little window, this is to edit the gradient. Want to make sure we got the foreground to transparent. That is important. It has to be foreground to transparent. It will not work with foreground to background. Just click OK. Coming into the image, there's our gradient tool coming into the top. Clicking down. Now press and hold down the shift key. That's pressing down and hold down the shift key. The reason for doing this is shift is going to give you a nice straight line. Release the shift key, you get a bit of a wobbly line, but a nice straight line with the shift key. Bringing it down just past the midway point will do nicely. Releasing it, and there you are. You have now darkened down the sky in your picture. A bit over the top, perhaps. The opacity slider in the layers panel is going to help us out. We're just going to reduce the opacity down. We're going to bring it down to that sort of area. There looks pretty good. Yep, what we got? 46%. Brilliant. To cool things down, we're going to come down into the adjustment layers. We're going to click on this. We're going to head for Photo Filter. Photo Filter opens and it immediately warms things up. Come into the little drop down menu. Cooling Filter 82. Looks pretty cool. Coming into the density slider, we're going to drop the density down to this sort of area there, around about the 9 10%. Yeah, would be pretty good. Just Clicking down, please move, thank you. All right, 11%. Yeah, you can see, yep, colors coming through there. Nice bit of blue. Job done. Snow. Dropping down, putting in another new empty layer. Again, just double clicking on it. We're going to call this one snow. This is going to be our background snow as such. Right, we've already made sure we got the default colors. We need black as the foreground color. We're going to pick up our pink pot. We're simply going to come to our new empty layer. We're going to drop it in. In goes the first stage of our snow effect. Filter, noise, add noise, and add noise. Something round about 100% is pretty good. Gaussian is pretty good as well. Monochromatic is even better because if you uncheck it, it's going to look awful. So leave monochromatic, Gaussian, and approximately 100%. Click OK to that. Filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur is the next stage, and what we want to do with this is just drop it back so that's as it looks by the default, taking it up into this sort of area, around about 3 pixel mark, just gives it that nice sort of blotchy look, click OK. Dropping down to the adjustment layers, clicking on the adjustment layer, we're going to go for levels. With levels, when this opens, the important thing is to come down to this little icon here. This is going to clip it to the layer underneath. In other words, it's going to clip it to our snow layer. Let's just take a look. There's our snow layer. This little arrow, bent arrow, is showing it's clipped to this layer. If it wasn't clipped, clipping it, you can also just use the Alt or the Option key, bringing your cursor between the two. There it is, like a paper clip. That's unclipped. That's now clipped it. It's now only going to affect our snow layer. If you didn't clip it, it would affect all the other layers, so that is important. Back to the adjustments. Clicking on this black slider, moving this black slider in. Coming to the white slider, the highlights, we're going to move this into this area here. Got a bit of a blizzard going on there, so we're going to click on the center slider, moving this across. You can see the way that's now starting to work. Bring it into that sort of area there would be pretty good. Let's just make things a little bit brighter again. And it is quite literally just juggling the sliders back and forth, that sort of area. Yep, that looks like snow. Coming into the Layers panel, to be able to see the image underneath, I've just clicked on the snow layer. We need to change the blend mode from normal to screen. Through it goes, there's our snowflakes. Filter, blur, motion blur. 
that's just a little bit too much I think Let's swing it round from this direction here as well and dropping the distance down we just want a little bit of sort of movement on that not too much that looks fine there it's 16 pixels clicking OK you'll notice we have got some little white blobs coming in around the edge if we just zoom out to give ourselves a little bit of space we're going to go to image transform free transform command T or control T is the shortcut for this we're just going to come in and just pull those out a little bit like pulling it out all around would be pretty good clicking on the tick pressing enter or return will apply it and there it is that's the first stage of our snow right clicking on the top layer of the layer stack we're going to put in another new empty layer we're going to double click where it says layer one we're going to call this medium flakes and click OK to that. Coming across to the toolbox, there's a few changes we need to make. The foreground colour, we need to change this to white. So clicking right on there and taking it right into the corner. So we've got all the Fs. Click OK to that. Picking up our paintbrush. If you come up to the menu bar, we can click on this at icon. You can change your brushes here. You can also, see I've got quite a large brush there, you can right click there's our brush panel we can come into this and it's this is the one I'm after a 39 pixel sort of spotty type brush press enter or return to apply a few changes we still need to make we're going to click on this if you're using a graphics tablet and pen like what I am you need to uncheck all of these so just untick all the ticks which you have got there come into the paintbrush clicking on this the fade slider take down to zero the hue jitter slider take to 100% the scatter slider take to 100% the spacing slider take to a thousand percent that's a lot right so there it is there's our brush there just press enter or return we'll remove that panel let's make things just a little bit bigger you see we've got a 39 pixel brush that's the default I'm going to use the right hand square bracket that's the right hand square bracket take it to 40 45 that looks pretty good like that and if we click down because of all the settings that we've popped in here watch the way this brush works just clicking down and there it is it scatters them out rather than being just one brush it scatters everything out if it doesn't like it has just done there just use control Z do it again and you see a so totally different effect just coming into this area and that is about it few changes want to make with this you'll be pleased to hear the first one is command T or control T puts the transform tool you'll notice it's just gone around the area where the snowflakes where the paint has actually stopped this will allow us we can come in we can grab it we can make it a bit bigger we can sort of pull this out into this sort of area like that would be pretty good like that perhaps just taking this one up here in the center part you can play with it as much as you want you can swing the whole thing around if you want to if you think that's going to work better and moving that out like this it is hopefully I love to keep things adjustable and hopefully this isn't really making things adjustable for you clicking on that to apply it again you could crop it if you want to but I'm going to leave it as it is filter blur stay Gaussian blur let's take a look you can see the way that's blurring our snowflakes off let's just pop into the image there so you can see exactly how it's looking let's take the radius up just a little bit more that looks pretty good click OK to that right just looking at this we can drop the opacity down a touch or two if you want to let's pop out using command 0 control 0 there it is dropping the opacity down just a little bit further that's the sort of look I am after job done just taking a look around if you've got sort of too many flakes in one area or coming over the main subject you can just pick up the eraser tool you can come in you can just erase flakes from certain parts if you want to as well as I say I like to keep things that are fully adjustable so any flakes you don't want or if you've got too many in one place you can just remove them just leaving that one there entirely up to you change the blend modes sorry yeah change the blend mode try it on soft light see how that works change the opacity we can drop down to this one again you can change the opacity of this particular one let's leave that there let's come back into this we can just move that up you see even with the dark the way that's affecting it the whole thing with this there it is back into a blizzard conditions it is to keep it fully adjustable 
do it the way you want. Come in, sit on it after a few sort of hours, days, look at it with a pair of fresh eyes. I'm doing this blind as I'm speaking, as you probably can tell, but sort of, you know, pop into it, take a look, see how it's going to work, and then just make any adjustments. Something like that would be pretty good. Clicking on the photo filter again, just making things perhaps a little bit cooler. That I like. And there it is. Job done. Adding falling snow to your picture, the thing is with this, is you adjust it to your pictures. Don't be afraid, you know, don't rush it, just sit on it. Keep everything, we've got all of these here. If I just pick up the move tool, if I click on any of these snow layers there, that medium flakes, that I can still move this around, we can still adjust it. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.